What's happening everybody? Hope you're doing well. Something I get asked a lot about when I talk about my vegan lifestyle is what are the what are the benefits? You know, people want to know if, if I try this vegan thing, what's going to be different about the way that I feel? Specifically, I want to cover that in this video. There's things that are going to be different all across the board in your life. But when it comes to health, when it comes to my health, you know, how I'm feeling, what's the difference going to be? So, here are five things that have to do with health that I noticed after I changed to a vegan diet. Now, I want to say here, it is possible to be a junk food vegan eating Oreos and potato chips and vegan burgers and just total junk. And I think that it's pretty obvious that that kind of a vegan diet is not ideal for health. So um, now. My diet is not perfect. I do eat those things occasionally, but I think it is important to think of a healthy vegan diet as one that is high in whole foods, so high in fruits, high in vegetables, high in grains, high in starches. These kinds of things that are, you know, real foods not made in a laboratory. So, having said that, my diet consists of a lot of fruit a lot of starch, a lot of vegetables, mostly whole foods. I do eat some Oreos, I do eat some vegan cookies, but the idea is that we want to have an emphasis on these real plant foods. So having said that, after switching from what we'll call a standard Western, standard North American diet, um, switching from that to a plant-based diet, five things I've noticed. The first thing, first thing I want to say, which definitely was unexpected, but uh, I did have an experience one night. I, I have a fairly strong prescription for my eyes. Um, and I always have since I was, well, since I was a very young kid, like before I can remember, um, I, I wore glasses and then I moved on to contact lenses. And I remember one night um, I got home and I was wearing them with contact lenses. And like, I remember my vision was like, I remember noticing like my vision was kind of not that great for some reason, maybe it was tired, it was late. I took out my contact lenses and like I could see very, very clearly. I picked up the bottle of toothpaste and like tiny little font on the tooth on the back of the toothpaste saying the ingredients and I was reading it I was reading it perfectly. So ever since that I basically stopped wearing my glasses and contact lenses and I have I mean my vision is not perfect, you know, things that are really far away get a little bit blurry, but it's like way, way better than it used to be. And that was after being on a vegan diet for two or three years. So I don't know if that had anything to do with it, whether it was the same, just a timing thing, but I did experience that. I'm not saying you will or you won't, but it's just something that I experienced and it's kind of interesting. So I thought I would share that with you. The second thing I want to share, I got a little list written down here in case you're wondering what I'm looking at, but uh, <laughs> the second thing that I want to talk about, digestion. Yes, digestion. I talk to so many people who have issues with their digestion. And yes, I don't know, for whatever reason it is, people are comfortable sharing their digestive um, realities with me, sometimes in more or less detail, but a lot of people got problems. Like if you're watching this video, chances are that you have some issues with regularly going to the toilet. Um, I had my share of issues back when I was eating a standard Western diet. Uh, it's a diet that's very high in protein, very low in fiber. You know, you basically have rotting flesh in your digestive tract, for lack of a more polite way of saying it. But, and that stuff, um, it's hard to move through. Like fiber, we need fiber to, to move things through. And if a diet's really high in protein and low in fiber, it takes a long time for that stuff to move through. And often when it does move through, it's not the most pleasant experience. Um, now, however, on the contrary, on a whole foods, primarily whole foods, vegan diet, you're going to be getting lots of fiber, lots of water, less protein, but sufficient protein. No worries there. Don't worry. You'll get enough protein, but you'll be getting way more fiber. Things going to be moving a lot more regularly. I didn't really expect that, but it was definitely a benefit and it's something that I have absolutely no issues with anymore. So if you're struggling with any kind of digestive, digestive dysfunction, it may be something that you might want to think about going to a plant-based diet. The third thing is my energy levels. I remember 
you know, before I would eat, you know, be eating potato chips and just junk and it was sort of like, it was almost like being, you know, being a drug addict in a certain way because you're craving these foods that are just, you know, high in fat and salt and just refined garbage basically. And it's like, you know, one hit to the next. It's like, I'll have something, you know, I used to, used to have like energy drinks and stuff like that just to keep me going. And it would be, it'd be like this all the time. My energy would be like, I'd eat something, I'd get some energy and then I'd crash. And then I'd eat something and then I'd crash. And ever since, you know, going to a vegan diet, eating more whole foods, plant-based foods that are overall much lower in fat and processed foods, um, my energy levels are not only more stable, but just all across the board a lot higher. I didn't have the energy to be doing the exercise that I'm doing now, the kind of fitness that I'm doing now, and the kind of performance that I'm putting out now. I never had this kind of energy through my whole life. And I did, even when I was doing sport when I was younger, I was playing hockey, um, doing some skateboarding, stuff like that. And I never really, I never really had the same level of, of energy that I had right now. I was never performing on the same level that I that I am now. Like it's just a whole new level ever since going to this this vegan lifestyle. So that's something that I know a lot of people talk about, and you really just have to give it a go to experience it. So I would highly suggest that. Um, another thing, sickness, and this is the the reason that really made me go vegan, go 100% on the vegan thing was I used to get strep throat once or twice a year. You know, it's a very unpleasant thing if you ever had strep. Um, really hurts to swallow. Generally, the doctor will put you on antibiotics. And like I said, it'll, it'll last, you know, two, three weeks. And it's just, this has happened to me once or twice a year, like pretty much every single year. And I was just fed up with it. You know, it's painful. I didn't enjoy it, obviously. I was reading on the internet and I found that dairy products, are not good for your throat, for your ears, for your nose. If you have any kind of infections that are happening in those areas of your body, it's highly likely that eliminating dairy products will help you with that. And ever since going vegan, I have never had, I haven't had strep throat since I've gone vegan. And in general, I've just been sick a lot less. You know, get catching colds, catching flus and things like that. I don't think I've, I have not had the flu since I've been vegan. Um, I have had a few occasional colds, things do happen. I mean, you're not totally bulletproof, you know, when you go vegan, but, you know, eating a diet that's high in fruits and vegetables and like healthy whole plant foods, it's definitely, you know, lots of vitamin C, you're definitely raising up your immune system's strength and ability to combat things that are coming in. There's no, no doubt about it. I've been sick so much less in the past, probably seven years, seven or eight years now. Gotta do the math one day, but it's something like that. Like I've barely had any sickness since then. So it's pretty, it's pretty amazing in terms of that. Last thing I'll go over is better skin. I used to have quite a lot of acne. I used to get a lot of pimples, stuff like that, especially like, you know, right here by my chin. I used to have just tons and tons of pimples going on there. And um, my skin is just way, better since going vegan, no question about it. If you're eating more fruit especially, I think fruit is really, really good for your skin. It's very hydrating, lots of minerals. Da -da 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 -da. I won't go into that with the whole sales pitch, but just the, the bottom line is my skin is way better after adopting a vegan diet. There's no question about it. And I'm, this, these are all things, with the exception of maybe the eyesight thing, although I know this, uh, what is it, fully, fully rock Christina, her eye color changed after she went raw vegan, I think. I don't know, but Things can happen to your eyes. I know that people start losing eyesight due to cholesterol buildup, so I'm wondering if maybe because I'm not, obviously I'm not having any dietary cholesterol because there's no dietary cholesterol found in a vegan diet, so your cholesterol is gonna be a lot lower. I'm wondering if maybe that kind of helps something with my eyes. But anyways, other than that point about my eyesight getting better, all, the other four points, it's very, pretty much across the board. I mean, just to go over, we had the vision thing, digestion, energy, sickness, and better skin. Those, these are all things, with the exception of the vision, that if you talk to different people who have been on plant-based diets for a little while, you know, a few months to years, 
um, they'll pretty much all tell you similar things. So these are the things that you you know you can pretty much expect if you if you're eating a vegan diet. Like I said, a healthy vegan diet, not a junk food vegan diet. You can pretty much expect these things to all you know be going in a positive direction. So if you're thinking about maybe giving it a go, which I highly recommend you do because of all these benefits, go to challenge22.com. Give it a go for 22 days. See if you notice any changes. Um, and the people at 22, if you sign up for challenge22.com or challenge22, then you'll have you know people who will mentor you. They'll help you out. You can get some meal plans, advice, and it'll just make it a lot easier for you to give the vegan thing a go. So, like this video if you did. Post any comments or questions you have down below. Don't forget to give me a subscribe if you're digging on my videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.